Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. According to Michael Benson, Tom Loeffler has stated today that Gennady Golovkin is still a free agent and hasn't signed with any promotional, I'm not promotional, but any broadcaster as of yet with any particular deal. He basically states when Gennady uh, decides what he wants to do, he'll make the official announcement. So that's actually great news as well, because, you know, this leaves open a myriad of options. It has been reported that Gennady may make his decision this month. Um, but at this point, what we're looking for is Gennady Golovkin to pick the next step that would suit most of the fans best interest to see Gennady Golovkin secure his legacy also his financial future and I think that there's no better place to do that than the zone I think the zone is the most logical step because it has all the world champions and as far as the middleweight division it has all the big fights to be made and it has opponents such as a Callum Smith at 168 there's so many options for Gennady Golovkin on the zone I think it only makes sense that he goes to the zone but if he goes to, you know, somewhere like top rank, he has the Gilberto Sudo Ramirez fight. If he goes to PBC, he has the Charlo fight. Uh, now he has an option of fighting even a Caleb Plant at this point. Because Gennady Golovkin has options at each particular broadcaster, I think that's great news. Gennady Golovkin is still a coveted free agent. Pretty much everyone wants him. He's a big draw, and I think he would make each and every broadcast better. But I think the ultimate place that most people would want to see, even myself included, has to be the zone just for the simple fact that they have all the world champions at middleweight. Um, also, Triple G is in talks reportedly with Billy Joe Saunders as well for a fight, um, and, and that's according to Frank. Warren and so I think that'll be interesting as well if Triple G can get that fight made you have to understand that Triple G and Billy Joe Saunders had already agreed to a fight before Triple G got the Canelo fight so Triple G backed off that fight and took the Canelo fight like any logical person would because it would be the biggest fight of your career the biggest payday of your career but Triple G was very close to securing and finalizing that fight with Billy Joe Saunders so I think that that fight would be a great fight I think it would make a ton of sense and it would clear up some of the confusion in the middle weight division as far as who's elite level and who's looking to be the best who's the champions and you know I understand that Billy Joe doesn't have a belt but I think that that would eliminate one more guy as from being saying that he's the best or he's not the best I think that that would clear it up if Billy Joe could beat Triple G I think that that would clear up about where he really is and where he should be ranked in the middleweight division and if Triple G goes in stops Billy Joe Saunders I think that people will still put a lot more luster back on Gennady Golovkin's name and I think he'd be looking for a world title shot after that against a Demetrius Andre a Danny Jacobs or even a Canelo Alvarez so I think they're good fights to be made on both sides I think that Triple G needs to go to a partner like the zone because they're willing to make these fights you know Eddie Hearn has already shown that he can get a deal done with Frank Warren in regards to Billy Joe Saunders and Demetrius Andre and clearly all the zone fighters are able to fight each other and meet that's why canelo alvarez and danny jacobs are in such deep negotiations right now so i think that triple g must be careful on which partner he chooses but i think the zone is the only one that makes logical sense once again unbiased as always is the ibfp please share like and you must absolutely subscribe